WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, two hours left to go in the trading week. We got a pretty calm market out there floating around flat territory. S&Ps right now up by six points, trading at 29.37. Got the Dow up by 44, trading at 26,571. NASDAQ up by 15 points, trading at 29.82. Gold contract, basically flat, up 70 cents at 14.12. You've got oil down 15 cents at 59.27. Notes and bonds, pretty slow as well. 10-year negative one ticks, one tick, 127.29. 30-year negative six ticks, 155.17. And the dollar index, negative 22 ticks, 95.720. And how about Bitcoin? That's where some action is today. Up $1,100 to $1,107 excuse me, 11,795, had been as high as like 13,800, had been as low as 10,300 in the last 24 hours. We'll see what the weekend holds. Staying to the currency aspect of things, well, well that is Bitcoin, so there's your volatility there. There is your high going back to Wednesday night. There is your low overnight last night, quite a run. Staying on the currencies. Dollar index, top left. So we're basically flat, but we had some volatility to the downside, making lows at about 11 a.m. this morning, back up to 96,300. There's your euro, trading a bit lower recently at 113.59. You get the yen trading higher, 107.90, and the good old pound trading at 126.96. Let's take a look at the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So as I said, pretty tame trading day, all things considered. Top of the range, 26.640. Bottom, 26,540. You're talking about 100 Dow points. We're right in the middle, 26,584. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar story. Maybe a little bit closer to the lower end of that range. We trade lower after the opening bell. We reach highs at around 1230 this afternoon. Backing off a bit, 76,77. S&P's backing off as well, but kind of right where we were around the opening bell right now, 29,39. There's your crude oil chart at 59,32. There is gold at 1412, been quite a week for gold. And euro, as we pulled it up before, 113.66. So a big day for the banks as JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, and others boost their dividends and buybacks after passing the Fed stress test. And to jump around real quick, JP Morgan up 2.9%, Morgan Stanley up 1.7%. City up 2.5. How about Bank of America up 3%? Quite a day for those banks. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White with the Power Trading Hour live right now. Tom O'Brien live from 3 to 4. Have a great Friday.